Welcome to Balances.com. Today we'd like to show you the new Aarhus Explorer series. This is the newest balance from Aarhus Corporation for their laboratory line. This balance uh, is about eight different models or so going from analytical to precision balances. This model is the EX6201. It's 6200 grams by a tenth of a gram and we'd like to talk about some of the features the balance has to offer. So right away, the unique feature with the new AHO series is this module design. The indicator wayhead can be placed, this is a one meter cord. You could place this on an optional post. You could place this on your desk, um, on the rear of the indicator. There are a couple um, screw holes here that you could actually post this right on the wall if you wanted to. So very unique feature. Uh, Many of the other brands out there, competitor models, don't have this design. Uh, there's a little plastic button on the side so it's adjustable. It can go down, or you can press the button and raise it up. The rear of the indicator, you can see we have a RS-232 interface, also a USB port. And then this port here is for optional communications that you can select. You can select another RS-232 and there are some other features. Uh, let's discuss some more features of this balance. Um, the new AHO series, these are all force restoration balances. So none of the models are strain gauges. The weigh sensor is the critical part that actually senses the weight and gives you accurate results. Using a force restoration balance, you have minimal drift and hysteresis. Um, let's talk about the weigh pan. The weigh pan, this is the new design for all house balances today and in the future. It is a trapezoid design. You'll notice the front of the weigh pan is wider than the rear of the weigh pan. Um, all house is saying that most future models will have this design. The trapezoid design is already implemented in the Aho Scout series and in the new uh, Navigator series that has the uh, touchless sensors like this balance also does. So Aho's goal is anybody walking into a laboratory sees this trapezoid design, right away they'll recognize this as quality. This is an Aho's product. Some of the other features about this balance. Uh, it has a very intuitive design, quick response, and you can see a large indicator showing the weight and results. So, if I put some calibration weights on this balance, you'll see how fast the balance is and also how accurate the balance is. So here we have a 3 kilogram weight, and it's right on the money. And if we switch that to a 5 kilogram weight, the balance is right on the money. Good luck. We'll put a four kilogram weight on the balance. Now the balance has four touchless sensors. What these do is enable you to tear out the balance. You can configure it for whatever you'd like. But if you notice, there's three kilogram weights on the balance. I can go and tear out that weight by just putting my hand over the sensor and it will zero it out. You'll notice on the display they have a fill guide here. This fill guide is showing you how much capacity has been used on the balance. Again, this particular balance has 6,200 grams. So if I was to add some additional weight, you would see that display guide go up, 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 up. And I can put on here 6,200 grams or so. So you can see this fill guide in red, how it drops. So gives the operator an idea of how much of the weighing capacity of the balance has been used. If I take the weight off, I can re-zero the button, and you can configure these sensors so that if you waved your hand over this sensor, it would send the data to a printer, the, op the optional house printer, or to your PC. You can configure this one so it tears out the balance. Now, the balance on the base has also two sensors on the right and left, and this sensor here we've set up so if you wave over it, it's going to stop the calibration for you. 
So again, our house's goal is to have the operator of the balance use the balance with as much ease as possible. No need to press some cat to fill button that you have to press down hard to calibrate. Um, everything is just a wave of the hand. And you can configure these sensors to do optional functions. So that's a real nice feature. So other features on the Office Explorer are the statistics function. Uh, the statistical quality control features are useful during various types of fill-in operations, especially for monitoring over and under applications. Uh, the user can provide, the user can specify uh, these settings and you can also store them in the AHOS library so you can recall them very easily. All of the new Explorer Voyager series has the motorized internal calibration. So calibration is simple and fast. Again, I'm just going to wave my hand over the sensor and as you can hear the motor the balance performs the calibration and then it's done. And again, by putting a calibration weight on gives you an idea. The balance is extremely accurate. Um, some of the other features on this balance, we have, this is a windshield. This windshield uh, prevents you from uh, bumping the weighing pan, etc. Uh, this place is right on here. We have the weighing platform. We've already talked about this. We have four posts here that support the pan. The balance is extremely easy to clean, take apart. Um, some other features on the balance again, we have a sprint bubble indicator. When you power up this balance, let's see, I'm going to shut down the balance, so I'm going to put it into the standby mode and enter standby mode. I'm going to put yes. And so now the balance is in the standby mode. So when this balance powers up, and you'll notice right here, this is the sprint bubble indicator. Real nice feature on the AHOS, it's going to flash, light up, and it will give you some idea if the balance is level or not. So if I press the button to start the balance, getting it out of the standby mode, I don't know without lights if you could actually see the light flashing, but it's telling the operator, hey, let's level the balance. And the menu, they have an intuitive uh, menu to help the operator in leveling the balance. The balance has four adjustable feet. I'm just going to unplug the balance for a minute and show you some of these features. So the balance has a menu that will help the operator decide which foot needs to go up or down, etc. So in this balance here, on the bottom, you'll see we have four adjustable feet. And these feet are really high quality feet. There's a, a post there with another support on the other side. And the operator just turns this little wheel to do the adjustment on the balance. So calibration, uh, I'm sorry, not calibration, level in the balance is very simple. We have four adjustable feet. We also have this port here is for the way below function. If you were doing something like specific gravity or if you were weighing a hot item, uh, since heat affects the balance, you wouldn't want to place a hot item on the balance, you would hang it below. So you would open up this port, there's a little hook there, you'd hang a wire and you would do your weighing beneath the balance. It's also used for if you had a very large item, you could hang that item so it's not overhanging the platform and you can perform your weighing application like so. Again, this is our cord, it's one meter in length so you can put this up to the base, to the indicator, you have basically about three feet. When you're not going to use it, you simply wrap the cord right around the, the base, right around these uh, hooks here, and this guy just snaps in the front. Uh, another nice feature about the AHOS balance, these balances are all coming out with adapters. The power adapter basically senses the voltage. So you have a cord, all the balances come standard with a 110 cord, but if it was going overseas, you would just change out your cord. This cord here would be a 220, and the AC adapter automatically senses the, in, the incoming voltage and would switch over. So you can either use this adapter for 220 or 110. 
The only difference is the power cord. The power cord that comes with all the balances as we sell in the U.S. is the standard 110 power. So I'm going to plug this balance in one more time just to go over show you some of the nice features. Again, triangular way pan, uh, windshield for easy cleaning. Uh, as you can see when the balance powers up, it's now in the standby mode. It's showing the Aarhus logo. All one simply needs to do is to press the button to get out of the standby mode right here in the center. And the balance powers up. And again, you can see all the applications towards the bottom of the balance. So if we scroll, if we look across the balance here on the bottom, we have basically the standby, standby print applications, um, auto calibration menu, and then to see more, we have a button over here that will give us more. And again, you can see on this balance how simple it is. Everything is just scroll up, scroll down. Uh, this feature here, pre-tear. So we could actually pre-tear a value if we had, for example, a weigh dish that we knew all the time weighed 200 grams. We can simply enter in the weight of 200, 200 grams, hit OK, and now it's automatically set minus 200 grams. So if I was to put on a three kilogram weight, this three kilogram weight is now going to show us 2800 because we have a pre tear. Again, real nice feature with the all house balance. There's tons and tons of features. I can't go over them all. You're really going to have to download the user manual. If you visit our website, either balances.com or scaleman.com, you will be able to download the user manual and look at all of these unique features that the Aarhus Explorer has to offer. This is the Aarhus Explorer. If you have any additional questions, give us a call or please visit our website www.balances.com or our new website scaleman.com. Thank you.